What's up, worship boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir. We are in the Iconic Studios and we are in 4K. Thank y'all for watching, man. Y'all already know what y'all here for. This is a sneaker channel. So before we get started with this review, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feats, the sneaker vlog, and the sneaker news in 4K. <laughs> Yeah, man, it feels good to say that. But you read the title, man. We do have another hot shoe in today to review. Let's not waste no more time. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here. A box directly from Nike. As y'all can see, man. So sick of the naysayers, bro, but it's okay. I really ain't got nothing to prove. Boom, we have it here. Another Nike box. Same old plain Jane red and white box. Nothing special, always speak on it. Nike, do better. Box label reads, uh, W, which is women's Nike Dunk Low SP. Colorway on this joint is College Navy, Wolf Gray, Marine College, Gris, and I believe Lope. Uh, retail on this joint was $100, it is an eight and a half. Go ahead and show y'all that, that label right there. There's that label right there for y'all to see. To do any inspections, you know how y'all get, man, y'all. Bunch of weirdos out there nowadays, but here's the lid. Um, it does have a lot number back here in the back, right there. Hopefully y'all can see that. Tissue paper is the same. The paper that covers the shoe is nothing crazy at all. But let's go ahead and flip this down. And yes, sir. Man, I'm jealous already, bro. I am jealous already. I'm jealous. I am jealous, y'all. I am jealous. I am jealous. Boom, we have it here. Um, the Nike Dunk Low. What are they calling these? What are they calling these? They call it the College Navy Wolf Gray? Mm hmm. Boom, here it is right here, man. Off rip, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm a little salty, bro, because I just got the, uh, the Syracuse joints and also that white and black uh, pair. It looks similar to the Nike SB Dunk Supreme. And the quality was nowhere near as good as this one, man. I don't know if this is a special shoe or what, what, but Nike went crazy, bro. Nike went crazy. Look at that. Very nice. Look at the bottom. Man, I wonder how this looking in 4K. I'm gonna watch the video afterwards, but I wonder how this looking in 4K, bro. It's looking really, really nice from here. But yeah, man, overall, bro, quick review of this shoe. The bottom looks like uh, it is. It's like a clear bottom. I don't know what's up with Nike and that. Um, I personally don't think they need to continue to do that. Shoes age quickly when they're, yep, uh, when they're clear like that. So Nike, if it ain't a Jordan, <laughs> keep that, keep that, keep that to that. Anyway, bro, midsole all white, white stitching. Nothing too crazy on it. Go ahead and go in on that for y'all, man. Wow. Y'all don't even know, man. Looking at this in 4K looks crazy. But anyway, upper is gray. Has your blue hits on the toe box. Uh, blue hits on the side panels. Um, that is that navy blue. And you got a gray swoosh. Um, when you look at the back right here, it is gray around the lower ankle area. Then you have that navy blue hit. And then you got Nike and red right there. I like that. Nice little hit of red back there. Don't know why they put um, an orange um, hit on the tongue though. That's kind of weird for me. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's an orange hit right there on the tongue. I gotta work, thing up, work on this focusing when I'm doing these videos, but orange hit on the tongue right there. It does come with some, um, these laces aren't like regular laces. So I can't really explain the laces, but they flat thin laces, but they're not like, they feel, they feel different. I can't explain it, but they feel different. Uh, it is a women's eight and a half, I believe, right? Yeah, women's eight and a half. Um, this is the paper that comes inside of it. Sock, uh, the actual liner in the shoe is satin. They went crazy. Nike went crazy on this joint. Satin guts on this joint. It does come with a pair of white laces as well right here. Very dope, very dope, very dope. Let me go ahead and see if I can pull out the insole. Kind of show y'all what's going on with that. A rip it or anything like that. Here's the insole right here. It is all like, it's like a gray. It's not white at all. It does have a red, uh, 
Nike with the swoosh right there. Um, as far as the inside of the shoe, for anybody that's trying to legit check these joints, that's how it looks on the inside. Hopefully y'all can see that, it looks very good right there. Um, as far as production dates on this joints, it is September 16, 2020 to November 7, 2020. I gotta get back to doing that in these reviews. Tongue is blue and nylon, but overall quality is there, y'all. Quality is there. Do I need this shoe? No. Do I think it's a good pickup? Um, yes, I do think it's a good pickup. Um, I personally, you know, my brother Lucky hit for this. I personally won't be buying these, but I do think the quality is there. If you're looking to buy this shoe, get it. You know what I mean? Like it's, you won't be let down in my opinion. Like it's not a bad shoe at all. I definitely think, um, I don't even know what resale is for this joint right now. What's the resale on these? Let's go to the Nike Dunk Low. Let's see. What is it called? College Navy. Yeah, they ain't bad. That's not too bad. Bigger sizes, like man sizes, are definitely up there though. I see a size 12 right here. We're looking at StockX. I will buy off GOAT, but StockX right now is 326. So I know GOAT is taxing for this shoe. And it's and no lie, bro. The, the quality is there. Um, it's definitely gonna be one of them shoes that continue to go up, in my opinion. Um, we're looking at through like seven, let's just say hypothetically five women's to a size 10. You're looking at like 240 max, 250 max. It might be like 250, 275. But when you start getting into those uh, like 10 and up, you're looking at like 275, 300. But um, just looking at it, bro, this shoe is dope. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the shoe. Is it hot? Is it not? Let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Let me know what y'all think about the, the uh, sound. Let me know am I bringing what I expected to the channel, bro. Again, very dope shoe. I definitely think it's a dope shoe that, hey, if you like it, grab it, bro. If you like it, grab it. Price is looking like they ain't going down. It's been out for a while, but I had to bring y'all a review. Um, no on feet. Um, I got to bring y'all some more on feet. So like I say, man, I got the 4K now. So I'm trying to spice it up, man, but I had to give y'all this review in 4K. Um, if you haven't yet, please, please, please go watch my review on the Air Max 90 Bacon. Very fire shoe, a shoe that I'm glad I have in my collection. Y'all go watch that video, I had a little pickup with that as well. But yeah, man, very, very, very dope shoe. If you want in your collection, grab it. It won't get any lower. Definitely a nice shoe for women and men. You already know if you wear a size, you know, if you, like I wear a size 12 in women's, that'd be a 10 and a half in men's. So just know you're going like a, a full size and a half down if you're buying this as a man, just depending on how your foot is. If you wear, like I said, if you wear a 10 and a half men's, you're 12 women. And if you are 10 men's, you are 11 and a half women. You know, so just always do the math to convert. You always go a full size and a half down to get your size. Dunks run pretty true. Uh, SB dunks run tighter. So go half a size up with SB dunks. But with regular dunks, you go true to size. So thank y'all for watching, man. Where y'all go, man? Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on beats, the sneaker vlogging, and the sneaker news in 4K. We are in the Iconic Studios. Thank y'all for watching, man. Let me know what y'all think about the content. Let me know what y'all think about the quality. We up from here, y'all. You know how it goes over at my channel. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace.